everyone. Welcome to Natural Prana. Hi guys. Um, today's video is going to be about sex during pregnancy. And I really wanted to do a video about this because I think there's a lot of misinformation um, surrounding this topic. And it's obviously something, I mean, I'm pregnant right now, so it's obviously something that, you know, we're dealing with right now as well. Um, with my first pregnancy, it was completely different than the pregnancy that I have right now. It was not only food that I was very careless in, but I think also just like how I treated my body in general and I didn't think about the baby. So I gave in to every single craving that I had because, you know, I was reading all this stuff that um, pregnancy is a time where you should be enjoying yourself and you're gonna gain weight anyways. So if you have cravings, you should give in to them. So I was eating like chocolate donuts and just tons of stuff um, that was absolutely terrible for me and the baby. And then I was also reading things about how good it was to um, embrace your sexuality, I guess, and um, have sex while you're pregnant as much as you want to. And at the time, um, I mean, I think our society is very, very sexualized. Everything is, you know, surrounds sex. And pregnancy is no different how they portray it. I mean, everything you read says, um, if you're healthy and healthy enough to have sex, then you should be having it while you're pregnant. And this is a time where you should, you know, feel feel sexy. And um, so in my first pregnancy, that was just something that I thought, you know, like I was supposed to do because that's what they put in all the magazines that I was reading and everything like that. And everything you read online. Um, when we started becoming more natural, we kind of started like rethinking it even before we got pregnant this time and it just didn't really make sense to us to to have sex while we were already pregnant um we connect on a different level than that it's a i think a deeper level than just like a sexual act and i don't even feel the need to do that this time around um, and I feel even better than I did with my daughter. So I think that's false saying, you know, that if you, you should feel sexy during pregnancy, if you want to call it that, I feel like beautiful and just good. I love being pregnant. I love my belly and I'm not ashamed of it. I don't feel bad about it. I definitely gained less weight this time because I wasn't indulging in, um, you know, like the standard American diet and just all these different cravings. So it's different, but I also have a better understanding of my body and of the baby. Now we understand that the baby is a very intelligent being and can sense things and feel things. And um, one of the things is when you're having sex, it's at a lower vibration and the baby can sense that and feel that. And I don't think that it's something that really needs to be done um, throughout your nine months of pregnancy or whatever. When you're having sex, it's at your root chakra, which is your lowest chakra, which is your testicle and your ovaries are your root chakras. That's the physical organs of them. And that's exactly what you're using when you're doing it which causes the lowest vibration that, that we have within our body, which is why when you see all the sexual stuff, it's, that's the vibration it's feeding to you. It's making you stay low, which doesn't give you a good feeling. It makes gives you physical problems, mental problems, and emotional problems. When you have high energy and you operate at your higher chakras, you have um, you, you, you don't have those problems. Your body works correctly, you have clarity of mind, and your emotions are under your control. You, you don't react just to things out of, for, for nothing. And 
when you're doing that with the baby in you, it's sending low vibration to the baby, which is very unhealthy because it's draining and lowering their energy. When they are coming into this world, they're a complete being that has connection to all of their chakras. Through our lives, that changes, but one of the things that happens when you have sex then is it starts to lower them right away. So they're not gonna understand as much who they are and what, what they're doing here. And they won't have the full connection to themselves and their spirit, which we're, we're the only ones that have sex for pleasure like that, which when you're having sex for pleasure, you're only operating at your root chakra because you're not, you're not doing it for a higher purpose. You're not doing it to bring a child into this world to, to reproduce, which when you're doing that, you're using all of your chakras at that point. When you're actually doing it for the purpose, which is to reproduce, it's to have a child. Mm -hmm. That's why your sperm is a seed, just like a plant wants to plant seeds in the ground so it can grow more grow more plants and trees, that's the same exact thing. It's not supposed to be used for anything else besides that. And when you do use it for other things, it causes bad, bad vibrations, which the baby completely understands and feeds off of. Right. Um, we went back and forth. Well, I went back and forth more on whether it was, you know, something that you should be doing or should not be doing while you're pregnant and the reason why I did was just because for one I mean we don't really look at the mainstream media for anything um, because we don't believe everything we're told but then when we were looking into being natural and everything like that um, a lot of the natural pregnancy books I read said the same thing you know that uh, pregnancy and birth is like a very sexual experience because your uterus is contracting just like it does when you have an orgasm so it was like very related to each other and so I was just you know like that is just a very natural thing to have to be having sex and to be doing all of this but we just personally like we were listening to everything else instead of um, really listening to ourselves and what we we felt was right, which was definitely not doing it. Um, but that's one of the things is they tell you also to, if you want to start up labor, to have sex. That's one of the main things that's out there. Um, I personally believe that you shouldn't be starting, you shouldn't be using anything to start your labor because your body and your baby work together in perfect harmony and they will, your baby will come into the world when they're supposed to. Um, I don't feel like we should have to be doing, like taking all these things or engaging in all these activities, especially sex, before, right before you're having a baby because it will just inhibit the gentle experience that you want to give them coming into this world. Um, and also when you think about it as a physical sense, mm -hmm. the baby doesn't want that activity going on because it, it knows even in the physical sense of this world that there's something else going on in its area, which it shouldn't be going on because the uh, reproductive system is doing something besides what it does during sex. It does two different things. And when the baby is forming, it has the reproductive system has a completely different job to do than when you're having sex. Because when you're having sex, it gets ready for the sperm to be delivered and all of that, which it makes it stop what it's doing for the baby and go into that other procedure, which it shouldn't be doing at that point because it has a baby to take care of. So it, it even can cause other issues besides just spiritually because of that. Right, and then one other thing that I wanted to add that I just remembered, um, I chose to not have any testing or anything done with this pregnancy 
and that was because I didn't find it one necessary and two it's very invasive which I find they tell you you know the more that you are you know like when you're in labor and you're supposed to be like dilating um, you're not supposed to be checked very often because the more you're checked the more likely it is that an infection can occur and that's not good for when the baby comes out um, so to me it just makes common sense that the same thing is applied to when you're having sex because you're putting something in that can introduce bacteria and infection um, and that's right around where the baby needs to come out and that's especially like when you're in labor that's why I don't think you should use that either to bring on labor it's not something you should use also women um, most women say that they don't want to do it they feel like they should be some women say that they um, feel like a strong desire to and they feel more connected to their partner which when you're pregnant you do feel more connected to your partner but I don't think it's in a sexual way it's on a complete different plane than that and I think that's what they're feeling and not like a sexual desire to have more sex with them than they already were. I think there's plenty of other ways to connect with your partner rather than just engaging in sex um, that will bring you two closer together and make having, you know, like make the experience of having a baby even better. Mm -hmm. All right, which goes back, goes back to our chakras and energy is when even when you're not pregnant, when you're having sex, it's still at the root level when you're doing it for pleasure. And that's as much connection then as you are going to have is at a low vibration, which causes problems with people. That's why when you're in a sexual relationship, there's all, all kinds of issues that come along with it. When you connect at higher levels near your crown chakra or near that, you you have a whole different sense of connection besides just a physical sense because that's what the root chakra is, is physical. And when you get to the higher level, it's more of a spiritual and uh, overall fulfillment that, that you're connected to and not just having to do something physical together. It's even just standing mm -hmm. next to each other. There's a feeling Being between in the, the presence. two. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just makes both of you happy. Right. So I think that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.